Okay, what's up guys? Today I'm back and today I got another review for you guys. And in today's review, I'm going to be showing you guys the This is a Walmart made uh Ozark Trail pocket knife. I bought this knife at Walmart for <laughs> $4. So it's very super duper cheap, but at the same time, I mean, it's still got a good amount of weight to it. It's got a stainless steel blade. This is metal, and it's got a plastic handle. Uh, as you see right there, Ozark, Ozark Trail. Forgot what model number this is. I can't remember what model number it is, but and I can't even remember what model it is. But I mean, I wouldn't suggest you putting this knife through a huge amount of cutting. It might be all right for cutting fishing line and maybe a box open or something like that. But this knife in general is just cheap i mean it is a good knife if you're just looking for a cheap run in the mill knife that you can you know use that can get you by but a lot of the reviews that i've uh, seen on this knife they said it was pretty crappy one guy said it was a piece of crap another guy said that it didn't close right and then another guy said he would use it to only open up boxes and stuff. But. Uh, as you guys can see. It's got a stainless steel blade. And I don't know what this. Like pattern is. It's not like a snake skin pattern. I don't know what kind of. I don't know what that is. Like wood pattern or something. See basically they're trying to make this look like. A hunting knife is what, like, Walmart or Ozark Trail, because Walmart just sells them. They don't actually, you know, make them. But you guys see they got little star-shaped screws in there. That way, I guess you could take it apart if you need to. And... I mean, it's got a good amount of detail to it. But. I don't know if you guys remember, but about a year ago or so, I made a video on, I think it was like, uh, it was about a cheap Ozark Trail knife from Walmart. And I had a Smith & Wesson knife. I think that's what it's called, a Smith and Wesson. It was like a blue handle. It come in a kit my dad bought a long time ago. I think someone gave it to him, and then he gave me one of the knives. And it's in the house somewhere. I just don't know where it's at. But I'm probably not even going to use this knife anyway. I more or less bought it just for the looks, because it looks cool. I mean, I, I will cut stuff with it. Like, but I wouldn't suggest you, like, putting this thing through some serious cutting. I just don't think it would hold up. But, and you can guys can see right there that it's already kind of starting to chip off. But... I mean, the the thing I like about this knife is it's very small, folds up, and it fits in your pocket. Your pocket. I don't even know what I just said. It fits in your pocket, real nice. I don't know what this thing would weigh if you had put it on like. Like, weighted for some reason. 
I don't know how you would weigh it anyway. But it's basically the same old thing, just those star shaped. Hold on. Star shaped screws right there holding it together. And. You know, it's got like a thumb. Like a thumb thing to open it with. But. I mean, I don't know. It's, I guess it's a good knife, but. I mean, again, if you're looking for a cheap, just a knife to get you by, if you don't have a lot of money to buy a knife, you can just go to Walmart and buy one like this. Four dollars I paid for this. Four little dollars. And to some people, that is a lot of money. And in my opinion, that is a lot of money for a Walmart knife. But, I mean... Four dollars ain't that bad for a knife. I mean, it's still a knife nonetheless. Might not be the best. It might not be the heaviest. It might not be the greatest brand. But, I mean, this knife will get you by, I guess. I just wouldn't suggest you putting it through serious cutting. Like I, like I said before, you could probably cut fish in line and... Maybe a box and something with this, but I wouldn't, and maybe carve like wood with it, but I wouldn't suggest you like start chopping into wood with it because it, I just don't think it would hold up. But yeah, this, uh, that was the Ozark, uh, trail. Forgot what model it was. I don't know what kind of material, I, I don't know what kind of, like, pattern that is. I don't think that's, like, snakeskin pattern that's, I don't know, it might be wood. It kind of looks like a burnt piece of, like, bacon, doesn't it? Or, like, yeah, that's what it looks like. It looks like a burnt piece of bacon. And that's like a, I don't know if that would be a green or like a gold, I'm not sure. But yeah, I mean, it's a decent knife. But, I mean, I don't know, that. that's the Ozark Trail knife, cost of $4 at Walmart. You can get them from Walmart for real cheap, but, I mean, most people are just going to buy a good knife. But you can buy this knife just to get you by, like I said before. But, I mean, I don't know. Because I'll see you guys in the next video, and, uh, yeah. So, I guess I'll see you guys later. And, uh, peace.